In this video, I'll show you how to set up shipping rates in your store. Before we start, make sure you set destination zones in your store. Go to Store Setup, Country, States and Zones, tab Zones, click Add Zone. You need to set them up in order to have shipping calculated according to your customer's shipping addresses. Destination zones may be represented by countries, states, cities or their groups depending on your purposes. If you want to have the same shipping rates for all stores in your country, you can add one zone only and specify the country. If you want to provide shipping only for one city, you can do it by limiting the zone with zip codes as provided in the example. If you want to provide different shipping rates for different states or groups of states, you'll need to create several zones. I have defined two zones – United States and California. So let's check shipping settings. Go to Store Setup Shipping section. Let's add a couple of shipping methods and name them Korea and Local Pickup. Click Add Shipping Method and type in the name. Make sure the method is turned on and rates are set up, otherwise it won't be displayed in the storefront. Click Add Rates to set rates for the method. Let's say I'm going to charge $15 for shipping to all US-based customers. I need to specify a zone and a rate. Since it's a fixed price, I type in the value in flat rate field. Let's see how it works for customers. A customer fills in his shipping address and shipping is calculated according to the method available for his zone. Now let's set free shipping. In my store, I need to set free shipping to customers who prefer local pickup. Go to Methods tab, click Add Rates. Select Zone, California in my case. I keep other fields not changed and keep zero value in rates fields. If I log in as a customer and have California in my shipping address, then I'll see two shipping methods available. Korea which is available for all US-based customers, and local pickup, available for California only. Depending on the method I choose, I see how the total changes. If no methods are available for a customer's shipping address, he won't be able to place an order. As you see, you may set as many shipping methods as you need. They can be based on shipping method type, it may be local pickup, courier, express delivery, whichever shipping option you are going to have, destination zones, zones you are going to ship your products to. You can specify different rates for different zones within the same shipping method or even create different methods for different zones. Customers order details. For example, order a subtotal. You might decide to provide with a lower shipping cost in case a customer makes a purchase for $100 and more. In this case, you just add another rate for the same method. The same is for total weight of the order and for quantity of items in the order. As per the cost, it can be a fixed value, flat rate, or it can be calculated as percent of the order subtotal. You can also define it as a rate per item or per weight unit. If you want to provide free shipping only for some specific products, it's done right on a product details page in the admin area. Select yes value to define that the product is shippable. Select yes to define that free shipping is available for this product. And select yes if a product is shipped in a separate box and specify box dimensions if necessary. Such products will be correspondingly labeled for customers. XCard 5 allows integration with popular shipping services. You can enable corresponding modules in section Marketplace Installed Modules. As soon as the module is enabled, it becomes available for setting in section Shipping in the admin area of your store.
Thank you for choosing Xcard for your business.